Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? What's your name? My name is Emiliano Seracasi. I'm the gallery assistant here at Gallery 221 at HCC. Okay, um, can you tell me what uh, show we are at right now? So currently we are in Gallery 3. It's our auxiliary space to Gallery 221. It's on the third floor of the HCC Del Mabry Library Building, also known as the Learning Resources Center. And this exhibition is the Calix Schenecker Art Infinitum 21st Annual Hillsborough County High School Fine Arts Competition. And it's wonderful. And uh, how long will the, the show be up for? This exhibition opened April 5th and it will run until April 29th. Okay, so till the end of this month. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Um, would you like to pick out a few pieces that uh, received some awards and probably your personal favorite? Yeah, let's check some out. Okay, let's do it. So, um, would you like to explain this piece right in front of us right now? Sure, so this piece is called Worms Will Be Worms. Uh, the artist's name is Jorge Hernandez Pena. Um, this piece was actually awarded the Gallery's Choice Award. Uh, it's the second time that we've awarded this award. Uh, the award began um, last year uh, as an attempt to make the 20th anniversary of this exhibition a little bit more special, and we're continuing. Uh, so this is the second uh, award winner of the Gallery's Choice Award. Um, and I really like this piece because it's very unique, very original. Um, it's acrylic on canvas, and uh, I think it's just sort of a really fun composition. Um, these creatures are very interesting. You know, we're not really sure what they are. Uh, the title suggests they're worms, but they also have these sort of stitching marks here. Um, but there's a lot of great color. Uh, you can see a lot of the, the wonderful brush strokes in there as well. Um, so it, it sort of rides this line of uh, something comedic and lighthearted, but also, you know, they seem very serious as well, kind of talking about the times that we're in, I feel. Absolutely. I get the sense that the, they're kind of sort of frightful, eerie, but at the same time, um, kind of like anime cheerfulness. It's, yes. uh, it's great.
So, what are we looking at? So these are uh, some of the smaller pieces we received. Um, these all fall in the category of three-dimensional art. Uh, and this piece here, uh, this collection of little items, this actually won first prize in the category of 3D art. Uh, it's a piece called My COVID Friends um, by artist Jorge Rodriguez. Uh, and I really like this piece. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a favorite among the gallery staff as well as obviously the judges. Uh, and I think because it takes this really um, lighthearted but also uh, very intricate and detailed um, approach to what we've all been dealing with the past, you know, exactly a year now um, with COVID. Um, they seem like these little uh, activities, you know, to be making these little friends maybe in, as we're all dealing with this isolation, maybe as the artist was dealing with, uh, you know, being locked at home in quarantine, uh, you know, creating these little objects, these little creatures uh, to pass the time. Um, so I really like them. Each one is very unique. They all have sort of their own little personality. Uh, and, and they're on this very interesting, very specific um, sort of fleshy tone, uh, which makes it sort of warm and inviting, uh, but even though the subject matter is this very scary and, you know, sort of gross and intimidating uh, uh, subject. Oh, well, yeah, to me, they are really interesting forms and I love the fact that they're tiny uh, almost like little toys but they're not and they resemble human forms at times and ghostly forms and we see some hands this is definitely very very interesting I would say that you can see this in a sort of a commercial professional gallery.
So, um, you've chosen this one. Why? So this is one of the many wonderful uh, photography works that we have on display right now. Uh, it's called Sweet Tea and God's Graces, uh, and the artist's name is Sidney Socius. Um, I really like this piece personally. It seems like there is a lot of uh, family history maybe, or um, just personal history uh, involved in the making of this image. Uh, it's, a, it's a very zoomed in, um, version of uh, what, what we'd consider like a traditional still life um, and there's a lot of different things to to look at and jump in and sort of dissect you know there's uh, what appear to be these nuts in the background there's uh, obviously a crucifix in the foreground and in the middle there's you know a, a lemon uh, in what appears to be a cup so um, excuse me so there's uh, if you go from the title, you know, Sweet Tea and God's Graces, you think, okay, there's this cup here, and there's also a crucifix and this, you know, very luscious lace here as well. Um, so you can sort of form your own narratives uh, in, in a lot of different directions. Um, there's religion, there's, you know, these what look like vintage books some, somewhere laid in there. Um, so there's just a lot of rich content, and uh, formally, I think the, the the photograph is really well done as well. Um, there's there's a central focus really uh, on the foreground, but but there's so much and so different colors in there that that there's a lot to grab onto. Yes, uh, to me, yes, I lo I love the composition, the the way everything is composed. And uh, it, the title definitely took me to a place of being sort of in the south with uh, sweet tea, um, the southern pecans, and definitely the sort of the southern lace and the crucifixion of the sort of, you know, the, the religion. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. I, I like it a lot.